Whoa, what's that? Today's video is on the Democratic debate. Now, if you new here, what the fuck we do here is read, listen, watch, and we block talk, break that shit down. And last night, the Democrats admitted to systemic racism. A whole lot of y'all always pushing back at me when I point out systemic racism, goddamn it. And tonight, I want to know what the fuck is your excuse because they seem to know that it exists, goddamn it. So why are you always debating it? Why are you always saying it's the black man fault that he and do this or how long he gonna blame them for that god damn it instead of asking them when they gonna take responsibility for what the fuck they done and since people like me asking for something in return for a fucking vote you won't act like it's a problem oh we can't have black specific laws and rules and shit like that we can't specifically help black people you dig now nah, it's a problem because I'm asking for something in return god damn it a quid pro quo vote god damn it go look it up if you don't know what it mean you witnessing the rebel network check out time style you because he gonna lay the shit down for you because i know you ain't gonna take my word for it with your lame ass check this out because everyone's saying we can't have rules that are different for, for different people but in fact we're here because we had rules that are different for different people I would set up a formal commission on race on day one to retell the story of the last 400 years in America of systematic racism against African Americans, not because everyone's saying now did y'all hear that you witnessing the rebel network he said the whole reason America exists is because you had different laws and rules for different people you know the colored water fountain and the non colored water fountain no fucked up water fountain y'all gave us or sit to the back of the bus or pick this cotton and build America or create a cotton gin and help build America further goddamn you know them rules right there the ones y'all like to forget about and make excuses for these people talking about Oh man, slavery was a long time ago And I'm talking specifically to black people Cause y'all the ones who come up with the fucking excuses For these goddamn people Instead of forcing them to take responsibility You heard what he said 400 fucking years of systemic racism, motherfucker And then after that, what happens, you dig? They go to Pete Buttigieg Cause this was started the whole race uh, discussion When Tom Steyer came through After that, they asked... Pete Buttigieg, hey Buttigieg, how come more black people got arrested and shit during your administration and shit like that? Look what he gonna say, he gonna dodge the question, but guess what he gonna do? He gonna admit to systemic racism while a whole lot of you blacks still walking around saying it's our fault. Stupid as you're so drowned in materialism, think because you got a new car, a new pair of shoes, and you, you could buy all the good labels that you're somehow out of poverty, God damn it! but that is not the motherfucking case you can only reach a certain limit but some of y'all you just won't be high enough to look down at other blacks huh as long as you all right huh? just like the athletes and actors and shit y'all and y'all family huh but check out old booty jazz before i digress because it's on now playing that increase in black arrests under your leadership well the reality is on my watch drug arrests in south bend were lower than the national average and specifically to marijuana lower than in indiana but there is no question that systemic racism has penetrated to every level of our system, and my city was not immune. I took a lot of heat for discussing systemic racism with my own police department, but we've got to confront the fact that there is no escaping how this is part of all of our policies. Earlier, we were talking about opioids. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear that bullshit? That dude said that after he dodged the bullshit talking about, oh, my shit lower than other people's shit. Even if other people's shit at 100%, y'all, and his shit at 99%, do that make a difference, goddammit, because you lower? That's basically what he did, but he dodged that. We expect them to lie about shit like that. But what did he say after that? But no question, systemic racism is in every level of our goddamn system y'all he said every level so what's your fucking excuse now nah, they the reason why you can't own a business you can't get a liquor license you gotta fight tooth and nail for that hair salon or that barber shop that they'll allow you to have god damn it you gotta fight tooth and nail and then they do all kind of random checkups and sweeps and all kind of shit to your little business 
Fuck out of here, but y'all still making excuses for them. Guess what they did last night, though? All of them fucking admitted it, goddammit. All of them. And what that boy said, it's in all of our policies. So what he was doing. Y'all arrested niggas across the board, all in 56 states, however many states the idiots got, goddammit. But after that, we got some more admittance. Because this was after, what his name is? Yang. Because a lot of y'all walking around talking about Yang gang. Man, motherfuck Yang. Yang talking about giving everybody $1,000. That shit don't mean nothing, but you got $1,000 extra. Black people gonna still be at the bottom. Other people gonna still be in the middle. And other people gonna still be at the motherfucking top. So he had a whole list spiel about her MLK who birthday we just celebrated and all of that bullshit. Said that capitalism and shit is the way to go and all of that. So after that, style laid up there and jumped in and said, look, I don't agree with your stupid ass and I'm for these reparations. I want y'all to pay attention to how Yang damn near choked up and we gonna go further into his fucking choking. Play that shit. That is where we have to move Play as a country. Play that shit. Senator Sanders, then Mr. Steyer. Andrew, no, let me say this. I disagree with you, Andrew. I am the person on this stage who will say openly I'm for reparations. Something wrong happened. I am for reparations to African Americans in this country, and anyone who thinks that racism is a thing of the past and not an ongoing problem is not dealing with reality. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear that? First of all, that dude said anybody who think racism is dead is not dealing with reality, God damn it. And this was after his little spill. But y'all notice how he hurry up and sip that water when that boy said, said reparations. I think reparations was like a key word. Like, because every time the word reparations come up, y'all going to see somebody drink water. Like, what the fuck is going on there, God damn it. And then what he said, uh, Yang, fuck. Fuck all of that. I don't fuck with you with your lame ass. You bullshitting the Yang. Look at his face, y'all. I just don't trust that dude. Watch how he drank that water soon as that man said something with your lame ass out here talking about Yang gang. That shit ain't nothing but a motherfucking setup. And let's check out Yang response to that shit. And they gonna say, hey, respond to that reparations part too, goddammit. He gonna avoid the shit out of that for all of you Yang lovers walking around. Oh, Asian will get it. You think these people gonna elect a fucking Asian anyway? God damn it, be realistic with yourself. Walking around just fooling yourself with Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle is out here cooning too. It's about time y'all live in that reality. If he is pushing Andrew Yang because he have an Asian wife, then it's time to kick him to the motherfucking side talking about some damn Andrew Yang. Get the fuck out of here. Now, let's play Yang response, y'all. When that lady say, hey, respond to the motherfucking reparations. He gonna choke the fuck up, and I mean choke like a motherfucker, and he gonna jump into his spill, god damn it. Some shit that he said on the campaign trail and y'all know I ain't lying. Check this shit out. Check it out. So we can move forward together. Mr. Yang, take on that argument and also what he said about reparations. The median African American household net worth is projected to be zero by 2053. Things are not getting better Spiel. for people of color. If anything, they're getting worse because we're in the process of eliminating the most common jobs in our economy. It's something of an economic unnatural disaster and who so we can move forward together mr yang take on that argument and also what he said about reparations. listen though loop that bitch the median african-american household the median worth is projected to be zero loop that bullshit on his ass y'all heard him huh you heard that chirp uh, uh, damn what i'm gonna do that nigga said respond to reparations the median, uh, the median, uh, niggas gonna be broke by, uh, 2053, uh, scared as a motherfucker, and he ain't see a goddamn thing about reparations, and if you think I'm lying, go back and watch the full debate, I think it's at the hour and 34 minute mark, goddamn it, which lets you know that I watched the whole debate repeatedly, motherfucker, cause that's what I do around this bitch, I don't think y'all understand how, what it takes to break this shit down, goddamn it, but anyway, I watched, and he avoided the shit out of it but let, this shit was like a highlight to me let's listen to that choke up again god damn it that shit was just tight to me look look the median african-american household net worth is projected to be zero got directly into his fucking spiel y'all his little spiel the average thing and uh black people gonna be broke by 2052 man get the fuck out of here and what a thousand dollars gonna do 
with your lame at like a thousand dollars gonna do something. That shit ain't gonna do nothing. People gonna buy one thing of shoes and all of that bullshit. That don't change nothing around this motherfucker. You gonna keep everybody on the same fucking playing field while scamming black people. And after that, Elizabeth Warren gonna echo how the Democrats scam us every four years or every two years or whenever they need a goddamn vote. Then not this some shit I always say, but I know y'all be needing to hear from them, goddamn it. Here go the scam. Let them know about it, Elizabeth, goddamn it. You witnessing the rebel network. Year after year after year, election after election after election, Democrats go to people in the black community and say, boy, we really care about these issues. Racism is terrible. We all want to do something. And then somehow the problem just seems to keep getting worse. You are witnessing the rebel network. You heard her? Year after year after year, the Democrats come through talking mad shit. How they gonna get your education straight? How they gonna set up a program to get you a job? We gonna teach you how to get a job. We gonna teach you how to go to an interview. We gonna teach you how to conform. Year after year after year, they come through with the bullshit, goddammit. Oh, are we gonna change economics? We got some new programs to get these African-American businesses off the ground. Year after year after year, then they gonna come back. Oh, we gonna change prison reform. We gonna, man, these prisons is so fucked up. Year after year after after year they admitting to a generational scam god damn it but remember y'all it's me and it's how long you gonna blame them people who ought to be blamed and shit it's block talk news if y'all would just conform and let's say i did let's say we did conform even then when you go your silly ass out to vote when you're conforming thinking you're doing say you're making a change god damn it they ain't even counting your votes right god damn it electorates playing a fucking part in that bullshit a popular vote means nothing you're in iowa delegates and all kind of bullshit what they call it uh um a STE or some old bullshit goddamn it in Iowa all kind of bullshit to play with your vote and voter scam and shit like that you heard her year after year after year they come through bullshitting us y'all but it's just me huh but how long y'all gonna let them get away with it cause this shit is a fucking admittance goddamn it it ain't just me they saying it I'll loop all of this bullshit for you goddamn it but that's not where it ends cause guess what else they admit to Guess what else they admit to? Fucking murder. They admit to murder. You are witnessing a rebel network. Listen hard though, cause this how the real gangsters talk. Why y'all out there thinking you're talking to hood niggas and you're watching the hood video? This how real street people, real gangsters talk. She about to admit to murdering black women, black men, and their children. God damn it. Listen hard. I have sad stories of a woman walking into a maternity room in New Orleans and saying her hands are swollen and walking out without her baby. Uh, and 30% of African-American kids being living in poverty. We know that there are economic solutions here to invest Loop in those communities. Loop it. You heard what she said. Care. But there's something else insidious going on that we haven't addressed. And that have said stories of a woman walking into a maternity room in New Orleans and saying her hands are swollen and walking out without her baby. Uh, and 30% of African-American kids being living in poverty. We you are witnessing the rebel network. Did you hear that? They purposely killing your fucking babies. Fucking woman went in there saying her hand was swollen and they took her baby. And they took her baby. That mean murderers is inside of these fucking hospitals while you're up there saying, oh, them people got to treat everybody. And oh, it's just busy. And oh, them people wouldn't put nothing in them vaccines. Oh, them people wouldn't do this. Yeah, the fuck they would. Why you think when I grew up in there, they always, have you been to Africa in the past few years? Bitch, I, what, do y'all ask everybody that? Have they been to Africa in the past fucking few years, motherfucker? When they coming from old dirty ass Europe, do you ask, did you, have you been to uh, Bostonia in the past fucking, get the fuck out of here, but they always ask me that, god damn it, like I got Ebola or something, you did? I know I got a different accent out here in uh, California, but why the fuck y'all always asking me, have I been to Africa in the past few fucking years? And then you heard what she just said, 30% of our children is living in fucking poverty. You think that shit a coincidence? You think it's still just me running my mouth and, oh, this, that? 
and the third you blaming the white man y'all need to pull yourself up by the bootstraps even though you ain't even got a fucking shoe to stand on fuck out of here boy but y'all probably think that murder not where it in that goddamn it you know murder ain't shit to them that's what they do around this motherfucker you did watch how burning bernie sanders I almost called him bernie mag watch how he about to admit how wealthy it is over you Y'all just pay attention. Is all of this a fucking coincidence, y'all? Is it still a coincidence? Like, what's the excuses these days, y'all? Outside of skittles, a hoodie, and all of that. What the fuck is the excuse now? Nah. But let's listen to old Bernie admit some more things, you dig for Big us. Time. Old Bernie. In education, in healthcare, there is no excuse why white families in America have 10 times more wealth than black families. No excuse that disproportionately African Americans are in jail compared to whites. No excuse for black women dying in childbirth three times the rate that white women are doing as well. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. You heard that? He admitted to a couple more bodies. Couple more bodies. Couple more black women bodies, you did. He admitted to a couple more of them. But what else he said? They 10 times more wealthy. Is that just because you can't pull yourself up by the bootstrap, y'all? Is that because your kid too stupid? Or all your black men just too hood, too street? Or is that because your black women just, just stagnant? They not rising in the workforce? God damn it, these people 10 times more wealthy what's the fucking excuse y'all is it still the black man fault all of y'all with these fucking gender wars letting these people get you caught up in a fucking gender war is it still the black man fault is it still the black woman fault we still gonna fight with each other god damn it is it still a coincidence god damn it that they 10 times wealthier that black men are dis black men and women by the way motherfucker are disproportionately in jail I know some of y'all just gonna say, oh, it's y'all, y'all be tripping, you know, black people, get your stupid ass out of here, they targeting us, and you gonna hear about that a little more in a minute, god damn it, and he said black women, if you're listening, god damn it, black women three times more likely to die during childbirth, you think that's a fucking coincidence, that's because they trying to kill the black woman, not only are they trying to kill your child with all of these motherfucking clinics every other corner, god damn it, they trying to kill you when you decide to go into label with your fucking kid but it's me huh you witnessing the fucking rebel network you better press subscribe around this bitch but guess what in case you still can't take my word for it or none of them people word for it bernie sanders about to flat out admit that the whole system every inch of it is fucking racism while you're trying to say it's y'all on the corner it's them black women you know it it's them niggas who be doing this and y'all be dressing like that and oh they too slutty they just be looking for all of that bullshit these people design this shit like that god damn it talk to this stupid ass bernie we have a racist society from top to bottom impacting health care housing criminal justice education you name it and clearly this is an issue that must be dealt with but in terms of criminal justice, what we have got to do is understand the system is broken, is racist. We invent. You are witnessing the Rebel Network. Did you hear him, goddamn? As soon as he started, what did he say? We have a racist system from top to bottom. That mean every fucking thing, goddamn it. That mean when I walk outside, that cop targeting my black ass. Oh, he's sagging. Oh, he got on this color. He got on that color. Lock his ass up, goddamn it. Oh, you go to school. Oh, you committed a little minor offense. Drive his ass to the detention center. Oh, suspend him for seven days. Let's take away his education. Oh, you're trying to start a business. Let's check the shit out of his business. Let's harass the shit out of him. Ain't no way he getting a liquor license. Oh, he a barber. Oh, he happened to meet all the qualifications. Let's still make sure we run into his fucking shop every day because drug dealers, you know, we watch them too. Let's see when they walk up in there with the drugs, then we'll bust their ass and say that they selling drugs out of the barber shop. How about that if we just want to get rid of that barber shop or that hair salon, god damn it. Oh, that's the that's the son and daughter of a major drug dealer. Oh, she know that he made he put his drugs let's just run in there that way they have at least three strikes on the salon god damn it and they take the salon away they can do that god damn it am i lying or am i fucking right 
God damn it, you witnessing a fucking rebel network around this bitch. That's what they do. That man said we have a racist society from top to bottom. And he followed it up by saying the fucking system is broken and is racist. Let's repeat the bullshit, Criminal God damn it. Justice. Let's start it over. We have you hear a that? racist society from top to bottom impacting health care, housing, criminal justice, education, you name it. And clearly this is an issue that must be dealt with. But in terms of criminal justice, what we have got to do is understand the system is broken, is racist. We you are witnessing a rebel network. The system is broken, is racist. You hear? You hear why you're pointing at me and it's just us blaming people? Guess what? They taking blame. They admitting shit. The Democrats. You hear them? The ones who running for a uh, president all of a sudden need our hand and shit like that. But they ain't talking about up in a motherfucking thing, God damn it. And some of y'all, God damn, I know you still don't get it. You still don't get it. You don't want to own up to the facts, God damn it. All the facts these people just gave you. Telling you these people 10 times more wealthier, God damn it. Your black woman is more likely to die in labor if they don't get her to fucking terminate the kid before that, God damn it. Your kid more likely to have a fucked up education. Ain't gonna learn a motherfucking thing. You more likely to get your ass arrested while walking to the liquor store that you don't fucking own because they make sure you can't buy no shit like that, God damn it. Y'all don't want to own up to the facts that this is a racist motherfucking society. But let's watch this last clip by Elizabeth Warren. Well, maybe she'll get you to own up to the fucking facts. Let's see, y'all. Let's see if you get it by now. Thank you for the applause, motherfuckers. You have to own up to the facts. And it's important to own up to the facts about how race has totally permeated our criminal justice system. You know, for the exact same crime, study after study now shows that African Americans are more likely than whites to be detained, to be arrested, to be taken to trial, to be wrongfully convicted, and to receive harsher sentences. We you are witnessing the rebel network. Have you just owned up to the facts? She just told you the facts that you a target. You're more likely to get arrested. You're more likely to get murdered inside of a hospital. You're more not you're more you're less likely to have a goddamn fully functioning business, goddammit. They admitted it. They admitted it, goddammit. They owned up to the facts. Now what excuse you gonna have? What else you gonna tell me? Cause matter of fact, let's go over the excuses they like to have. You're blaming them. Okay, they to be blamed, goddammit. Y'all don't wanna pull yourself up by the bootstraps. We don't have a shoe to pull ourselves up by, motherfucker. As soon as you think you're going somewhere, they're going to knock you down. And if you're trying to go somewhere, they're going to either, either you're going to conform to their way of living or they're knocking your ass down. Either you're going to wear your suit and tie and go talk like them and all of that bullshit or you're going to be yourself and they're going to knock your ass down. And me, I'm not the conforming type. That's not the way life fucking go. I know some of y'all probably sitting there. That's just the way it is, brother. You got to play the game. No. I don't got to fucking play the game. We create the game, goddammit. We are the game. We the glitch, goddammit. We don't play games around this motherfucker. We supposed to just accept these things. We supposed to just conform. Y'all should just do this. Wear a suit, maze. Hell nah. We, we, we make our fucking rules, goddammit. We don't have to conform to nobody. When y'all came and snatched people from where the fuck they was and forced people to conform, that wasn't enough for y'all. They tried to conform already. They marched already. They sung with you. They begged and they pleaded. Well, them days is over. This our fucking time. And we ain't marching, we ain't begging, and we ain't pleading. We standing, we swinging, and we fighting. Once again, y'all holler at me.